This is an umbrella workshop, and they've been making umbrellas here for over a hundred years. You can get lots of different types of umbrellas. There are patterned umbrellas, frilly umbrellas, see-through umbrellas, and even yellow umbrellas, like this one. But how do umbrellas keep you dry? Let's use this watering can to see what happens when the water hits the umbrella. You ready? Okay. Wow! Did you see the water droplets running off the umbrella? It all happened really quickly, didn't it? So I've got my special slow motion camera with me so we can see it happening in more detail. Slow motion means that we can film something that's happening really fast, but when we watch it back, it appears much slower. Ready to record. Let's see what happens. Let's pour the water on. Oh, look at that. The material has a waterproof coating. So instead of the water soaking through, it runs off. It's a bit like the water droplets are dancing. That's really clever, isn't it? But how do all the parts of the umbrella come together? Let's find out. This bit here is the part that you hold and it's called the handle. And then this long wooden stick is called the shaft. And then can you see these long spindly bits? Those are called the ribs. I think they look a little bit like spider's legs. When you open the umbrella, the ribs stretch out, and that's what gives the umbrella its shape. This is Lee, and it's Lee's job to put all the parts of the umbrella together. First, Lee cuts some holes into the shaft using a cutting machine. Then cuts and twists two pieces of metal wire into the same shape. They look a bit like little hooks, don't they? But they're not hooks, they're the springs, and they help the umbrella to open and close. The springs are then fitted into the holes that Lee made. This part is called the runner, and it will move up the umbrella to open it and down the umbrella to close it. But listen to this. Can you hear that clicking sound? That means the runner has fixed onto the spring. But I think it sounds a little bit like a light being switched on and off. Next, Lee fixes the ribs onto the runner using some bendy wire. Look, the ribs are all loose. That's no good, is it? That's because Lee's not quite finished. Now, he's attaching the ribs to another ring, and that's called the notch. Now the ribs are attached to the runner and the notch. So, let's see what happens when we open it this time. There we go. That's better, isn't it? But this umbrella isn't going to keep us dry, so what do you think it needs? It needs a canopy. The canopy sits on top of the umbrella, but what colour should we choose? How about blue? Yellow? I think we should make a bright red umbrella. The red material is cut into shapes using a sharp knife. Do you know what shape this is? It has one, two, three sides. That's right, it's a triangle. Our canopy needs eight of these. Fixed together on a sewing machine. The eight triangle pieces have been sewn together to make the canopy. But it's not finished yet.
now Jan sewing the canopy to the frame. Oh, we are so nearly there. Look, the tips are being attached to the ribs. Last of all, Lee fits a shiny cap onto the umbrella shaft. Brilliant. A finished umbrella. Ready for me to use on a rainy day. I loved seeing how umbrellas were made. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember the part that looked a bit like wobbly spider's legs? That's right, it was the ribs. Did you hear the sound the spring made when the runner locked into place? It was a clicking sound. And did you see the water bouncing off the canopy when we used my special slow motion camera? 